Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your RoboRock Robo Vacuum, and not just setting up the vacuum, but also hooking it up and connecting to the application. So this is gonna be a similar process no matter which RoboRock vacuum that you have. In my example, I'm using the RoboRock 5, but again, like I said, this is gonna be a similar process no matter which device that you purchased. So what we're gonna do is get our RoboRock vacuum out of its packaging and unwrap it. And once we have our Robo vacuum out, what we need to do is set up its charger. So it's pretty simple. It's gonna be in these little boxes right here that have the plug and the charge stand right there labeled with little pictures. So I'm gonna open these up. So what we're gonna do with our little docking section is we can take off this little protective sticker right here. And also this is gonna have double-sided tape on the bottom of it, along with this plastic sheet here. So if you wanna secure them down to your floor, you can use that double-sided tape. But I'm gonna occasionally be moving around where my robot vacuum is located, so I'm not gonna use the double-sided tape at this point. So what we're gonna do is take our dock charging area, and it's good to have this up against a wall. That's a good place to keep your robo vacuum so that you don't trip over it. But for this example, I'm just doing it in the middle of my floor. So I'm gonna set that here. And then we're gonna put this little plastic plate below it. And this is gonna be a relatively loose fit. Again, like I said, you can use that double-sided tape if you want it to be more secured down to your floor, but I'm gonna have it set up like this. Now I'm gonna take the power cord and one end is going to be plugged in right there on the side of our charging dock. The other side is going to be plugged in to the wall outlet. Once we have that plugged in, we should get a little light to show up on the top of our charging dock. And at this point, what we wanna do is charge our vacuum. You can, of course, just make sure that you have the bin, it's emptied out, it's got the filter in there, and we can slide that right back into place. Also, the brush spins and looks good, as well as these rollers at the bottom look to be in good working order. So what we wanna do is hold down the power button for a handful of seconds until we see these lights turn on. And what we wanna do at this point is charge our RoboVac so we can just drop it right here. And you'll hear it start up after a handful of seconds and eventually it will say charging. And while it's charging, we can see the light that's behind the power button is blinking on and off, indicating that it is charging. Before turning on your robo vacuum, make sure that you clean up your house of clutter or things that could get in the way of the robot vacuum. So if you have wires around or things that could get stuck in your robo vac, again, you wanna make sure that you clean all of that clutter up so that it can move freely around the area that it's gonna be cleaning. And of course, you can always just manually start your robot vacuum by clicking the power button that is on top, but we're gonna connect up with the application so that we can set things up there. So to download the app, what you're gonna do is scan the QR code that is on the quick start guide. So for me, I'm gonna scan that QR code and then open it up. That'll open us up to a web page, and I'm gonna be getting the app through the Google Play Store on my device. And that'll take us over to the RoboRock application. And again, I'm doing this through the Google Play Store, but if you're on an Apple device, it'll be through the App Store. And then I'm gonna click Install. Once the app is done installing, we can either open it from here or we can head on back to our home page and it will show up either on one of your home page screens or if you're on Android, if you scroll up from the bottom, you should have all of your apps down in this area. And for me, they're in alphabetical order, so I can find the RoboRock app right here. I'm going to drag and drop that onto my home screen. And then from there, I can open up the RoboRock app. If you already have a RoboRock account, you can log in. Otherwise, you can click where it says sign up. So at this point, you're gonna select your region, enter in an email address that you'd like to use as your login email for this RoboRock account. And then once you have the email entered in there, click on where it says get code. They'll send you a code to your email address. You're gonna enter in that code here that you get in an email. And then after that, we're gonna click next to move to the next step. After confirming your email address, you're gonna enter in a password and confirm that password and then click okay. That takes us to the home page, and what we want to do at this point is click on where it says add device. And then we're going to scan the QR code that is on a sticker on top of our device. So scanning that QR code. So it says press and hold the spot cleaning and the dock buttons for three seconds or until you hear resetting Wi-Fi voice prompt. So that's the two buttons on each side of the power button. That'll put the robot into pairing mode. 
and the Wi-Fi indicator light will flash slowly. So once you've heard resetting Wi-Fi, we can check this little box down here and then click next. So you can select your Wi-Fi router and it'll show you Wi-Fi routers that are in your general vicinity. Select yours and then enter in your network password and then click next. And then we want to connect the device to Wi-Fi. So we're going to click connect to the device's Wi-Fi. And I'm going to select the Roborock vacuum. And it says connecting. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Stand by. And you'll get that audio cue that it is connecting up to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. And once it's successfully connected, you get a little green check mark here. And the device will say that it is connected up with Wi-Fi. And then I can click enter device and it's gonna load up. And then it'll take you through a quick start guide that you can go through. And once you go through the quick start guide and select the settings that you want, it'll take you to the homepage of your RoboVacuum and I can see that it's currently at 56% state of charge. So I'm gonna let it continue to charge before I do that first cleaning. And after that first cleaning, once you have the map, you can click edit map and you'll be able to do things like create a no-go zone or areas that you don't want it to go. And you can edit the room, do things like that. And you can also add a schedule for cleaning by clicking on the three little dots here in the upper right hand corner. That'll open up the menu and then from there you can click on where it says schedules and you can add a cleaning schedule. So clicking add schedule, you can do a time to start how often you want it to repeat and things such as that. So you get a lot of extra features by hooking this thing up through the application. I definitely recommend doing that. And I hope this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Roborock robot vacuum was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.